Hey, what's going on people? I hope y'all are doing good. Today, we're talking Vivo X90 Pro. Ever since this phone was announced, I've been super excited. I've been a huge fan of what Vivo has been bringing to the smartphone industry. I mean, they continue to deliver excellent phones that feel and look great, and they pack excellent cameras. And with the Vivo X90 Pro, they've taken things up to the next level. Not only are we going to dive into some of my favorite features, I've partnered with MediaTek to help give you a better understanding of just how the Dimensity 9200 powers these features. Quick disclaimer, I'll be referencing the Vivo X80 throughout this video, and that's because the X90 is technically replacing the X80 and not the X80 Pro. Before we get into the nitty gritty, can we just take a moment to look at how beautiful this phone is? From the vegan leather backside to the small engravings that signify this phone is for creators, blends Vivo's exquisite design language with the decades worth of photography knowledge from Zeiss. I absolutely love it. Okay, so let me give you a quick rundown of MediaTek's Dimensity 9200 processor. At the time of this video, it's the most powerful mobile processor MediaTek has ever created. It's four nanometers in size and packs several industry first, including major upgrades in the GPU, RAM, storage, Wi-Fi, and camera departments. To give you a better understanding of some of these features, we first need to dive into the X90 Pro. So let's kick it off with some cool everyday features and tips and tricks. First up, we have some battery improvements. Thanks to the Dimensity 9200 being a more efficient processor and the battery size of the X90 Pro increasing to 4,870 milliamp hours up from 4,500, you can expect all day battery life, but still, Power users may find themselves having to charge during the day, especially if you forgot to charge the night before. And that's where the 120 watt wired flash charging comes in, which according to Vivo, can deliver a 50% charge in just eight minutes. I tested this by using an international adapter from Zendor that doesn't limit the current, which is important so that way I can get the full charging speeds. I set a timer on another phone for eight minutes and 10 seconds. The 10 seconds are precautionary just in case there's any human error. After eight minutes, the V90 Pro charged to 41%. I wanted to see how long it would take to get to 50%, so I immediately started a stopwatch. After an additional three minutes, we finally achieved 50%. It's not the advertised speeds, but in total, 11 minutes to charge from zero to 50% is still pretty incredible if you ask me. On top of the crazy fast wired charging speeds, we now have 50 watt wireless charging, which is great to see. You'll just have to make sure you have a compatible wireless charger with the necessary output, such as the OnePlus warp charger that I have here. If you're interested in it, I'll link it down below. Staying on the topic of wireless charging, let's not forget that the X90 Pro does support reverse wireless charging, making it easy to charge other phones, smartwatches, or wireless earbuds. The display on the Vivo X90 Pro is very similar to the X80 on paper. However, we do have some improvements. For starters, it's a slightly higher resolution, but still remains a full HD plus panel. It also has a slightly better screen to body ratio, but honestly, most people probably won't notice the difference. The major difference that I've seen is inside of the display settings under the color option. We now have a Zeiss color mode, which applies a more natural calibration to the panel that matches the beautiful colors we see from Zeiss Optics. I really like it. There's also a pro mode, so that way you could tweak it yourself, but I just prefer the Zeiss color. There's also a visual enhancement feature that can improve picture clarity and vividness in supported apps. On top of the AI powered visual enhancement feature, the display is also now more efficient thanks to the MediaTek Mira Vision 890, which is part of the Dimensity 9200 processor. Okay, so now let's move on to something a little more fun, performance in gaming. The Vivo X90 Pro features UFS 4.0 storage and LP DDR5X RAM, which are part of the Dimensity 9200. Before I show you what you can do with each of these upgrades, let's take a look at how quick the storage and RAM benchmark. Typically, 
I'm not huge into benchmarks, especially like synthetic style benchmarks, but when it comes to things like this, I don't mind since it's outside the traditional CPU and GPU synthetic testing. Personally, I'm really impressed with these numbers, especially since you'll be able to notice the difference when doing day-to-day -day stuff. Let me show you a few things on the X90 Pro that take advantage of these upgrades. First up, we have multitasking. If you don't know how to run apps in split screen, let me show you. What you're gonna do is pull up your app drawer, then tap on the name of the app you want to open in split screen. Select split screen from the menu, and then select the second app. You can adjust the size of each window by dragging the bar in the middle. Tapping on the bar allows you to switch app positions by selecting the arrows. You can also save this app pair as a preset so you can quickly launch it at any time. I know other phones can do this, but the speed and efficiency of the X90 Pro can definitely be seen, making multitasking a really smooth experience. Additionally, you can place certain apps, such as the album app, in a small window that floats on the screen. It can be resized, moved around, and minimized into a small icon. Tapping on that small icon will open up that small window once again. You can also access split screen by using a three finger gesture, which is part of the X90 Pro's smart shortcuts. Let me show you where to locate these settings and briefly go over a few of my favorites. So let me show you where to find all of the really cool shortcuts on the Vivo X90 Pro. What you're gonna do is go into your main settings. Then you're gonna scroll down until you see the option for shortcuts and accessibility. Tap on that. And here are all the different shortcuts that you can access. So you have S Capture, which is how to start a screen recording or a screenshot. So you just take three fingers and swipe down. You can enable it or you can disable it. You also have screenshot floating window, which is down here on the bottom because I'm recording the screen. You have smart split, which I've already showed you. But if you go in here, it shows you how to activate it on the fly, which is using the three finger gesture that I showed earlier. You also have recommended split screen apps. Then if you back up, you have smart motion. So a plethora of options in here, including smart screen on and off, smart wake, and then smart calling, and then shake to turn on flashlight. So if I turn this on, for example, and then take my phone and shake it, it should turn on the flashlight like so. And unfortunately, I stopped the screen recording. Oh, nope, nope, still recording the screen. So uh, props to Vivo. That's the first phone that I've ever seen where if you lock it, it still records the screen. That's really interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the flashlight using the quick toggles up here at the top. Then we'll go ahead and go back into the settings. If I go under smart screen on and off, we have more options so we can raise to wake, double tap to wake, which I definitely want on, and then double tap to turn off, which I definitely want on as well. Go ahead and back up. And then if we do smart wake, it shows you a lot more options in here, including swipe up to unlock, swipe down to take a photo, draw C to launch dialer, draw M to play music, swipe horizontally to change music, draw F to launch Facebook, and draw E is custom. So you can draw an E and then assign it to any app. For this example, we're gonna go ahead and assign it to my favorite wallpaper app. So now, if I go to the lock screen, and while the screen is off, draw an E, it will pull up my favorite wallpaper app. So we have a lot of options in here. It's definitely worth it to dive in, tinker around with it, and set it up to your liking. But one thing I quickly want to go over is the one-handed option. So I had it turned off initially. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And this is how you do it. So you just take your finger and do something like that. And now it shrinks the window so you can resize it to your liking. So that's a quick look at some of these smart shortcuts that you can access on the Vivo X90 Pro. Gaming is another big upgrade on the X90 Pro thanks to the Dimensity 9200. So while I break things down, let's take a look at how a few games perform when running GameBench. You see, it's the first processor to feature the ARM Immortalis G715 GPU. This unlocks tons of features such as Vulkan 1.3 support, motion blur reduction, frame rate smoother 2.0, adaptive game technology, and Hyper Engine 6.0 GPU fusion rendering, which enhances gaming visuals. On top of that, we now have hardware ray tracing, which will dramatically improve reflections and refractions for even better in-game realism. 
Unfortunately, at the time of this video, there are no ray tracing games in the Play Store. But I did find a mod for Minecraft Pocket Edition that brings ray tracing capabilities to the game. While it's far from perfect and definitely buggy, it can sort of kind of give you an idea of what to expect with ray tracing. As you can see, it's very smooth and it looks pretty good. All right, so what are some tips and tricks for gaming? Well, I got you. First, if you haven't yet, make sure to enable multi-turbo within the main settings. It should be turned on by default, but just in case, let me show you where it's at and what it does. To your main settings, scroll all the way down until you see the option for system, go into system, and then look for multi-turbo right up here at the top. Tap on that, and then make sure art plus plus turbo is turned on. And like I said, it should already be turned on, but just in case, make sure to toggle that on because it controls all of these things. All of these things are going to give you really good performance, so it's definitely important to make sure that is toggled on. On top of multi-turbo, the X90 Pro features an ultra game mode that takes advantage of the new MediaTek chip. Let me show you how to quickly access it and all the amazing things you can do with it. In order to take advantage of ultra gaming mode, you need to make sure that it's toggled on. To do that, you're gonna go into your quick toggles, swipe over until you see ultra game mode and make sure that's toggled on. If you don't see ultra game mode, tap on the pencil icon, look for it down here on the bottom, then touch and drag it to your quick toggle list, then back up and then toggle it on. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and launch Call of Duty, one of my favorite mobile games. If you guys want to get at me on this game, my screen tag or my gamer tag can be found right here. Go ahead and uh, hit me up and maybe we can game a little bit. I definitely like Call of Duty Mobile, it's a lot of fun. As you saw, a bunch of stuff popped up on the screen telling me that multi-turbo is enabled, that the uh, game sidebar is turned on, which means that the ultra game mode is working. If you didn't see all that stuff, you need to go in and make sure that it's toggled on and enable it. So now inside the game, I can swipe over here from left to right and it's gonna pull up the game sidebar, which right off the bat gives me some stats on the CPU and GPU. I can also switch different modes. I have battery saver mode, balance mode, and then boost. And then I have all the settings that I just covered inside of the main menu, such as 4D game vibration, esports mode, voice changer, uh, background calls, you can toggle those off. That way you get no distractions, block notifications, reject calls. You have motion control, control settings, game display enhancements, game frame interpolation. Again, a lot of this stuff is carried over from that main menu. You can lock the brightness in case you have auto brightness already turned on. You can lock it so it doesn't change. Auto play with screen off, screenshots, screen record, and then you can custom all of the controls right here so you can remove the ones that you don't want. If you've already removed some of these, you can bring them back in and then you can reorder them. So one really cool thing that you can do inside of a game is game picture in picture. But in order to do this, you have to make sure that eSports mode is turned off. So I'm gonna go ahead and toggle off eSports mode. I'm gonna go back to my game here. What you're gonna do is take three fingers and then swipe up. And then it's gonna bring up a list of apps up here at the top in which you can open. That way you can have a picture while you're playing your game. So you can open a separate app while you're playing. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch Twitter. And you can see Twitter is now in a pop-up menu. I can minimize it. I can shrink it down to a little icon and then pull it up whenever I want to. And I can do this for certain apps. I really wish that the compatibility was more because these aren't very many apps. I wish YouTube was on this list, but nonetheless, it's really cool. So I can pull up TikTok. I can pull up Netflix, quite a few apps that I can pull up and enjoy while I'm getting my game on. It's pretty neat. Another thing I want to mention is that the Dimensity 9200 is Wi-Fi 7 ready and packs several 5G improvements, including millimeter wave, which will bring faster speeds all around. However, it seems Vivo may not be utilizing these things to their biggest capacity or largest capacity since the X90 Pro specs state that it's Wi-Fi 6 only. Kind of weird. But regardless, I found connectivity to be very fast and very reliable. Last but not least, let's dive into the camera. The Vivo X90 Pro packs a massive 50 megapixel one inch sensor for its main camera, a 50 megapixel telephoto camera, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide. On the front, we have a 32 megapixel selfie camera. 
Of course, we have all of that wonderful Zeiss goodness wrapped into the camera as well, which includes Zeiss's color science, portrait effects, and a couple new things that we'll go over soon. The images coming out of this phone are absolutely beautiful. MediaTek worked really hard on the ISP inside of the Dimensity 9200, and when combined with the additional V2 chip from Vivo, you get incredible results, but also extremely fast results. I mean, just take a look at all of the improvements MediaTek's new ISP brings to the table. Feel free to pause the video because I know it's a lot. Not only do we get improvements, but we also have a plethora of new features, including the ability to shoot 8K video at 24 frames per second, and the quality is excellent. What's great is that these new things are not a gimmick. So there you go. That was a look at several of the new features on the Vivo X90 Pro and how MediaTek's Dimensity 9200 processor powers them. Let me know if you have any questions and what other content would you like to see on the Vivo X90 Pro? I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos just like this, and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one.